integration techniques are not easy to master. And in my opinion, integration by parts is, is definitely the more challenging of the two. So we want to take a look at a couple more of examples here, maybe move just a, a little bit slower through these steps so that we can start to see how this works and particularly to differentiate this from the pattern that we use for integration by substitution. So in example 10, we have x to the 10th times the natural log of x, meaning we have the product of two functions and we have a log function. So since there's a log function, that's our best choice for u which means that dv will be whatever is left over. So in this case, x to the 10th dx. Differentiating both sides of u equals ln x will give us du equals 1 over x dx. And then integrating both sides of our dv statement will give us v equals x to the 11th over 11. So this allows us to set up our new integral statement. Which is u times v minus the integral of v times du. So I rewrote that first part, not for any particular reason, um, but just to reorder those terms a little bit. And then what we can do for the second term for that actual integral statement is bring that 1 over 11 out in front of the integral. x to the 11th over x will reduce to x to the 10th dx. So then what we'll do is just focus on this integration piece the integral of x to the 10th would become x to the 11th over 11 plus some quantity c. So putting all of that back together would give us 1 over 11 x to the 11th times the natural log of x minus 1 over 11 times x to the 11th over 11 will give us x to the 11th over 121 plus c. So we started off with u equal to natural log of x, since that's always the better choice if a, if a log function exists. Took the derivative of that statement. We let dv equal everything that was left over, so x to the 10th dx. We integrated that to get our substitution statement for v. Set up the form for that integration by parts, and then integrated just the variable portion that was left here and then pieced everything back together. We'll look at walking through one more example of this, uh, in this case kind of an extra tricky example. So here what we have is the integral of the natural log of 14x. In this case it doesn't appear as though we have the product of two functions, but we could rewrite this as 1 times the natural log of 14x dx. So we have a log function meaning that's our best choice for our substitution statement for u. And then dv will become everything that's left over. So in this case, 1 dx. Integrating 1 with respect to x will give us x. And then differentiating the u statement will give us du over dx is equal to 1 over 14x times the derivative 14x so times the derivative of that interior function. So we'll get du is going to be equal to 14 over 14x dx, or the 14s would just cancel, giving us 1 over x dx. So this means we could set up our integration by parts problem as not 1 over x. We could set it up as the natural log of 14x times x minus the integral of our statement for v. So again, that's x and then du, which is 1 over x dx. So we would get x times the natural log of 14x if we just reorder those first two pieces. 
minus the integral of x over x would just be 1. So if we just focus on taking the integral of 1 dx, that would give us x plus some constant c. So our final answer here would be x times the natural log of 14x minus x plus some quantity c.